show you guys the impact that ReZero has had in my channel. So there's two different websites I want to show you, right? So Social Blade, we always know. Social Blade is like a great way of understanding the amount of views that people get per month, right? This number is very accurate. 1.3 mil is the ballpark number of views that I'm getting. And I will prove it by bringing my own analytics from the actual YouTube analytics. Hold up. Let's see the content last 28 days. Here it is, right? Boom. So <laughs> remember when fucking Mad Lad and their clowns were claiming, no, oh, the social blade numbers are wrong. No, 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 no. This number is wrong. What kind of range is five to 80K? Obviously this is a calculation based off of a wide range of RPM. But these numbers, the sub count, very, very accurate. And, you know, ReZero has been doing actually really amazing. I think that ReZero has definitely had a positive impact on my channel. Usually one series isn't enough to really just like carry a channel. But there has, I can definitely not say like this hasn't had a positive effect. So I think ReZero started around like this part, right? So this is when like the beginning of the new season was happening in summer 2024. Roche today, Nokotan trailer, everything openings were fucking going viral. Then obviously it's going to taper down. We started ReZero and now we've been farming ReZero content like crazy. And I don't think that this graph is a decent representation. I think that maybe this is a bigger impact. So if we look at this website, this is called Twitch Tracker. So if Social Blade is a decent website to track metrics for YouTube viewership, Twitch Tracker is literally that just for Twitch though. And what you see here is an overview of a week analysis. You can do it by month. You can do it by three months and all time and stuff like that, right? But this website is decent to show, I think, how impactful ReZero is just by even looking at the graph here. Can you guys tell when the ReZero episode reaction starts? Every graph here is a representation of the viewers in the stream. You can clearly tell that the tail end of the stream is when I hold ReZero hostage to make sure that people have a reason to stick around and for it to end on a high note, right? ReZero has actually had such a significant impact in my channel in terms of viewership. Look at this, right? Channel performance over time. Whereas the green bar you see here is the average viewers. And, you know, I think I started streaming pretty seriously beginning January. And in January is when I started to do actual anime reactions on Twitch. And it's been a slow grind, but hey, it's actually kind of crazy that we are averaging currently 173 viewers uh, on a lifetime scale. But on like a monthly scale, August has been 190. And look at the spike here from July to August. Everything before August is a pretty linear slope, right? Sure, there's a little bit of a, 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 a incline sometimes, like a change in slope. But look at the spike here, right? This is just re-zero. So if we look again at this weekly performance and you look at average viewers of 200, it's honestly not 200, right? I'm getting bailed out by a bunch of tourists, right? There's more people checking out at the tail end of the stream rather than the entire stream because people only want to watch ReZero and that's perfectly fine. That is the behavior of the audience that's found your channel for the first time or only have seen your channel just for one specific content. And then what do you do when you have an influx of new people? This is what you do. Uh, I'm going to go here. Boom. Go to my channel. And I'm sure you guys have already seen this video. But right over here, right? Whenever you have people coming in, what you need to do is make sure that they get converted to community members. How do you do that? Simply make content that they want to see. Of course, we're going to focus on ReZero content. Every day, I'm pumping out more ReZero content. But it's also important to make them into people that want to watch me or me rather than ReZero. It's going to be a roughly 10 to 15% of the tourists are going to be converted into actual lower community members. But by having videos like this, right? This is how you increase retention of people. A lot of people doing YouTube think that the algorithm dropped them because after you're done farming one specific series. Like for example, this se this uh, this season, it's Roche data, right? And Roche data reactions are going to get crazy viewership across the board. But I think a lot of people that don't obsess about the analytics or more of this, like the, the business aspect of content creation have the wrong idea that people are finally, you know, the YouTube algorithm is finally bailing them out. And they are because there's more audience wanting your state. But I guarantee you, once the season's over and you haven't done what was necessary to keep those new people to come back, if you don't give them a reason to come back, they're simply not going to watch your videos anymore. And that's just content creation. And that's what the purpose of videos like this is. Retention, right? You know, when people come in, you cannot have a revolving elevator, right? You cannot do that. And 
I constantly bring up this graph as an example, where I show my lifetime graph of the one time that I did get lucky. There's a significant spike here back in February 14th, right? This is when my most viewed video, still to this date, Eminence in Shadow, right? I got bailed out. I was right there at the right time. And people found it entertaining and people kept clicking on it. Great. But what I didn't know and what I fucked up on was I just pushed down random content down people's throat. And see that? Virality does not create a community. Your channel dies down just as fast. But something changes once you start to make videos with an objective goal to make tourists into community members. And this is the result. Look at this. Look at this graph and see how consistent it is. Every three months or so. If I'm able to prove to the YouTube algorithm that I can sustain the new audience with the content that I'm pumping out, you're going to get rewarded like that. It's that simple, man. But again, the purpose of this video is just kind of show you the positive impact that ReZero has. It's honestly kind of crazy. Twitch, right? YouTube, honestly, Patreon too. But again, if you just think that this is going to be forever, you get depressed. A lot of people, their mental like their mental health suffers because they don't understand that this is just tourists bumping me up. This average 200 viewership on Twitch right now should be more closer to like 150, right? I think that by the time we were done with Dangerous in My Heart during end of July, this was true community effort. 136, I'm very proud of that. But right, the re-zero effect is fucking going crazy, man. And by the time season two comes around, I expect it to get slower because season one has... I don't know, a lot of people talk greater things about season one rather than season two. That's why I'm expecting, you know, uh, maintaining expectations, but it's been fantastic so far. Do I think that uh, holding ReZero hostage for months has how much impact the numbers? Yes. Because like, again, if I reacted to ReZero back then, do you think I'm going to get the level of viewership I'm getting right now? Hell no. I will never get the same level of viewership. My first ReZero reaction video I put out, right? Where is it? I think it hit for like 14k, yeah, and still climbing. 14,000 people watched my first video, one hour, 22 minute of me just yapping about episode one. There is no fucking shot I could have gotten that. And in the same light, if I waited another year and I kept growing like this, if I farm Reezer at that point, I would get even more views. It's just that simple. <laughs> like, it, it, it's really like, the, look at the impressions going out as well, right? Of course, if you make more videos, if you, if like, look at the impressions going out, right? It always increases just like the views does. So does it not make sense that if I just kept holding, you know, ReZero hostage that I get more views later on? Of course I would. But you need to also do it in a timely manner. And who knows how the trends of October when it hits, like it's gonna, it's gonna do well or not. Who knows? But it's important to kind of ride the wave. But that's pretty much ReZero and analytics in a nutshell. I'm going to try to pump out more ReZero content. I know a lot of people have been asking for like, you know, please react to the IF content. I can't fucking do that retard. I got to fucking finish the seasons first. Don't worry. There's so much ReZero content that we can farm as soon as we finish season one and season two, because all the video essays, all the theories, all the schizo postings, those are locked behind, you know, these uh, canon episodes. And once we're done, we'll do that. And I'm thinking about doing like tier list based on each arc. I'm thinking about actually doing my own review analysis of the episode rather than just watching chibi but i think i'll keep the chibi reviews as well and that's pretty much it expect more re-zero content